Okay guys, we're here at Fuyang and Chaomain. This is doable even at the levels we last left off. It's around 70, you know, early 70s here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you me beating them without the use of Kerplunk Bracers because I want to be able to prove that it is possible without having to rely on them. Sort of like what I'm going to do with S-Dark anyway. At least at this point in time, I might, uh, I don't know how I'm going to be putting in the S-Tark without Kerplunk Bracers video. But in any case, yes, that's basically what I'm going to be trying to do. So I'll be using up the Yigdus and Yig Leaves, but I will be then, after the recording, I'll reset and just use Kerplunk Bracers, just so I don't have to use those the Leaves and Do up for this fight, because I really want to save that for the Amon fight. That's my plan, anyway. So, just letting you guys know it ahead of time. But anyway, why don't we just go show the stats off. It, nothing really has changed much. I mean, mild stuff here and there. I guess if I gained one or two levels, I wasn't paying attention, I'll be honest. So, but yeah, I don't think there really was much difference since last time. No, no new spells or anything, because they're already maxed out. For our item setup, I... Uh, Maya now has the Angel Leotard, which is better than the Flowing Dress. At least from what I can read up on, anyway. This is better overall, so she's even even more protected. Honestly, I was tempted to give the Liquid Metal Shield to Borea instead now, but in the end, I decided Maya's probably still the better fit. They will be switching around their positioning somewhat, if needed, but... Like, if they're low on HP or something, but generally, this is how it's going to be. Whoever's got the most defense takes the lead. And uh, I gave her the Recovery Ring, because it has the same defense as the Kerplunk Bracer, and won't go away when, uh, if and when Maya decides to die. <laughs> you know, no, she decides that. <laughs> Staff of Salvation, Kerplunk Bracer only if just in case. Uh, Yigdu and a Yigleaf just to get Boria up if need be, and also if Boria runs out of Yigdu, or it's better if she uses it in one turn or something. That's what they're there for. Now, as for Boria, he's got his Magma Staff. Oh, I did forgot to mention. Yeah, she has the... Maya has the Gringham Whip now, so she can actually attack pretty well. Not that she's going to be doing any, really, a, any attacking, but it's an option. That's something, actually, I didn't try testing out, but generally, Caprizzle's still going to be better. Even with Oomph. So, but I might test that out off stream. So, I mean, off, off camera, just to see. But in any case, yeah, uh, he's got the Magnus Staff because that's the best weapon he'll ever get in this game, as far as I'm aware, unless the Wikipedia is wrong. Flowing dress, happy hat, scale sheet, shield. These, this is his ultimate equipment at this point. Ruby protection because it's the same amount of defense, and then Sage Stone because you know he needs it. Kerplunk bracer is just for emergencies, but I shouldn't need it because he has the two Yigdus and Yig and Yig Leaves and all that. I called these dudes and these leaves, but whatever. And I was dumb this time around with the challenge run and didn't buy an extra Lucida Shard. So, only he has it now. Hopefully that won't bite us in the ass, but even if he gets confused, just defend with him if you need to, and that's also where the Yigdu on Maya can help if need be. Or let him die and use the leaf. So, but yeah, only he's gonna have it. Anyway, that's it for setup. Let's just jump on in and hear them talk about their inane blather. I'm just going to go ahead and just keep pressing A until it's done. Honestly, I don't think we should lose because as there's a there's a good decent strategy. You'd have to get really unlucky. I mean, I'd have to get really unlucky for this to uh, end poorly because it can happen because if they decide to team up on one person, it they're dead. But anyway... Let's see what happens. For bonus boss time against Fu Yang and Chao Ming. All right, big thing here. You could kaboom and crack and hit them both at the same time, but what I've noticed is if you, anytime you attack Chao Ming, even just a little bit, he end, that's when he ends up uh, using his body slam attack, where it basically just lowers your HP to uh, like 10%. And we can't, we don't have full heal, so that would be really, really bad for us to have, have that happen to us. So instead, we're going to go ahead and have Maya just Kafrizzle Fu Young. And since it's the first turn, we're going to have Borya Crackle Fu Young. The thing is, Fu Young sometimes uh, can resist the Kafrizzle, which kind of sucks, but it happens. 
but you're better off with Gefrizzle because it's only it once in a while. Of course, it happens as I say it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and Gefrizzle. Oh no no no! Don't hit don't hit Chalmain. And we're just gonna keep Sage Stoning on Boria for the moment. If she goes below 300, I'm gonna switch their positioning. Okay, she's good. But yeah, she's just gonna keep focusing down, and Boria's gonna go ahead and heal her. I think Kakrackle actually has better luck on on uh, Fu Young, but it doesn't. It's obviously gonna do less damage, and usually he's better on the risk to risk it or something. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and switch uh, people around. Let Boria play tank for the moment. He's gonna heal, and she should be okay. Go ahead and Caprizzle. Uh oh. Yeah, sometimes he can outspeed you. She might be in trouble here if uh, Fu Young decides to attack. Okay, we're all right. Uh, Sage Stone and just Caprizzle, because uh, we're not Boria's not low enough to. I want to use the Yigdu yet. I'd rather use one of the leaves first. I think that's good enough now. We're going to go ahead and Yigdu now and get Frizzle. If he hit below 300, that was enough for me. I try to make sure I use it at the right time. Ow, quit it. Alright, now we got to switch back around. Uh, the party order actually really doesn't matter here, especially if um, Chalmain decides to muster strength. Since uh, if he does that and then does his uh, cockspur kick, then the first person that's going to take the extra hit, the extra damage from muster strength. So you're better off switching him around like that. That way the second person gets slightly less damage. Okay. But also, you know, because of targeting and all that, they do target the person in front first. Keep going with that and save stuff. Yeah, Boria's not going to be attacking much. Not unless he has no chance. And, mm, this is a case where I'm going to Salvation and Sage Stone, because we really need to get his HP up. Yeah, uh, Fu Young does about, about 180 damage max. Uh, I think I'm going to have to use a Yigdu. Yeah, that's about what he his big damage is anyway. But it's not always the case either. That's what I've noticed anyway. Yeah, but round 180. Uh, yeah, party switch again. Oh, no, no, no. You're going to Sage Stone. i got to remember the positionings. <laughs> Muscle memory can take over sometimes. Ugh. Stop it targeting her. Yeah, they're being assholes right now. She's going to have to Salvation herself a little, too. Okay. And don't... Okay, good. Thank you. I was worried he was going to attack in the turn, because he only does it sometimes. But Fu Young should almost be down. He only uses multi-heal... Ah. Oh. He only uses multi-heal when, um... Whenever, uh, what's-his-name's hurt. Alright, Lucita Shard, Maya, hopefully you'll go first. Okay. And she did go through with it. I might have to use Yigdu, though. Hmm. Yeah, they're both low again. He doesn't have a Yigdu now, so instead what we're going to do is have him crackle Fu Young, and she's going to use her Yigdu. And then we're going to have to rely on the Yig leads after this. <laughs> Alright, that's not a big deal. That's going to hurt. But other than that, we're okay. Go ahead and Kafrizzle. Yeah, Kaboom actually will always hit, but the problem is with that stupid uh, damage that Chow Mein can do with Body Slam, so... Yeah, we're going to want to just stick with Kafrizzle for now. And hope it hits more often than it doesn't. Yeah, that part's not as big of a, de big of a deal. Just go ahead and keep uh, Sage Stoning. Once we get rid of Fu Young, things get a lot more manageable. Because that breath really just takes the shit out of us. Takes the shit out of us. <laughs> takes the wind out of our sails. Uh, I was kind of hoping he'd be going down very soon, but yeah, this is getting a little dicey. I think uh, Boria is going to have to go down. Hopefully this doesn't end poorly. Uh, I'd rather just Caprizzle. Get rid of, get rid of Fuya. Okay. And we're above 180. It only would be bad if he attacked twice in the turn. All right, let's switch around again. And now we're going to go a little on the defensive. She's going to heal Boria, and he's going to Sage Stone. 
good. All right, 196. Okay, good to know. Go ahead and sage. I mean, uh, salvation yourself and sage stone. To stay above 180. She also has better defense than Boy. I, th I think she, she does anyway. Oh, the crits! I forgot about those. Yeah, I didn't have that happen in my uh, in my run. But anyway, at least he was able to do that. All right, just go ahead and caprizzle him down, and you just stage stone. Yeah, I believe Chalmain has some resistance to ice, though. Oop, no, 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 you don't have to heal. You can just caprizzle now. But Chalmain doesn't really resist Kafrizzle, at least, so at this point, Maya's got him. You know, I never tried, actually, like, trying to defeat Chalmain first, but I don't think it's worth it on a challenge run, at least. Maybe in a regular run, it could be. But you're better off, honestly, just taking, getting rid of the healer and the guy with status effects and breath attacks. Okay, we're, we're above 180, or 190, so we're, we're in the safe zone. No one should die in one turn. That's good. But yeah, anytime you get close to that, that's when you just got to go ahead and use, uh, have Maya go ahead and heal too. But he still can be pretty damn dangerous. Okay, let's switch parties around, party members around again. He's still going to be damn dangerous though, because of that critical hit sometimes. Go ahead and heal yourself too. Uh, okay. Yeah, luckily, sometimes Chow Mein just lo loses focus and just muster strengths over and over too. I love it when he does that. Like that. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep Boria on the heal train because even though I really wanted to have the attack going on him, it's like, you're better off not. Also, that's the other reason why I didn't go with physical attacks. Because having him being able to just nullify your attack really ruins everything when I could have either been healing or, uh, or caprizzling. But luckily, he also, I believe, has less HP. I'm not looking at my notes this time, so I don't have the info on him. Either way, he generally goes down a little easier once you get rid of uh, Fu Young. Especially since he doesn't resist uh, Caprizzle. I'm almost getting to a point where Boria might get to attack. Nope, 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 nope. Boria may go down here. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to Sage Stone, and I'm gonna attempt to use this too and hope it works. I don't think it's enough. Nah. Oh! He just double body slammed. That's not that big of a deal, actually. It could have been worse. I should have also switched positions. There he went. That's okay. She has one more Yig Leap, at least. But yeah, mistakes all around here. Yeah, the body slam is just the worst. That doesn't mean, though, he should be extra low on HP, though. Okay, we need to switch positions here. Also, you might notice Sparky's alive. Don't don't worry about that. I just don't use him. Uh, go ahead and frizzle and keep Sage Stoning, man. But yeah, I definitely think the mages at 100% need to have... need to have two of them to do this. If he goes down, this is... It's not good. Keep keep healing. Okay, he's okay. He's gonna be hurt, but he's okay. Now go ahead and caprizzle. He's almost down. Come on. You know you want to go down. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to have them both alive, but I mean Boria may have to be dead for this one. <laughs> I mean, I had to do that with, I think it was, what was it, Estark? Or maybe it was Bizarre? I can't remember. Someone had to. Oh, he just defended. That's okay. Oh, no. Boria might be down. Oh, how did you survive that? Again, I'm trying to keep him alive for this one. because oh, Not just because of the uh, old, he's got the... Uh, not just because he has a Sage Stone, but just because, like, you know, I would like to have both of them alive for this. I'm going to have to risk risk Boria here. Maybe he has more HP than I thought. Okay, that's fine. I'm really hoping I don't have to use a Kerplunk Bracer. Thank you! Okay, I almost had to use my full supply of do. Well, I used my full supply of dues, and I did have to use up uh, at least one Yig Leaf. No, two Yig Leaves, so... <laughs> 
that's why I'm going to be going back and redoing this anyway, uh, off stream, off camera, just to go ahead and be able to use them for the final fight. But anyway, that's it for Fu Young and Chow Main. I will see you at the worst possible fight ever, Amon. Okay, guys, this is S Dark Take, uh, not Take Two, um, without Kerplunk Brazers. That's what this is. I'll be fast forwarding through this because we've seen it already, but I was able to do it. And I think that uh, even though I'm going to be using some items that you can only get in Chapter 6, I think it's still possible to do uh, before Chapter 6 if we just use magic. It just takes a little longer, but in any case, no stats have changed. Uh, well, not many stats have changed, but uh, the differences are, though, just the equipment mainly, but just wanted to show off the stats if you need to see them. You could just pause if you need to, but that's it for that. Let's go over the items I'll be using. Um, for this, in Chapter 6, I'll be using both the Greenham Whip and the Angel Leotard on Maya. That way, uh, the Angel Leotard does be has better defense than the Flowing Dress, but also has similar to better resistances than it. And even if it's slightly lesser, the defense is sometimes better anyway. So, And the Greenham Whip's going to be actually utilized. We're going to try and use that instead of Kafrizzle, just to save MP a little, and that way I have to use less Prayer Rings to get my MP up. Uh, Ruby of Protection for the de base defense, because defense is king after stats get maxed out after a while, you know. Uh, Staff of Salvation is, of course, going to be used for healing. We will be using the Yigdus and Yigleaves for this one, just to show that you can do it without the brace, the uh, Kaplunk Bracers, but you have to use up all your good stuff, so you wouldn't have it for, uh, what's this called, Amon. So, Zithian Shield will be important for the whack phase, though... I'll be honest, you, if you want, you could probably get rid of it and just use the Liquid Metal Shield instead for Snub. I just prefer Bouncing so that you, you get more damage output whenever uh, that phase of Pissarro decides to cast spells at you. And of course some Prayer Rings too, just in case. As for Borea, no new, no no real new equipment other than the Recovery Ring, which is basically in, this, in the battle is only going to be used for the defense. It's the same defense as a... The, what is, what is it she have? Ruby of Protection. It has the same defense as that. Otherwise, it's all the same stuff. He's got the Sage Stone, of course, but he's also got two of the Yigdus that we've managed to accumulate, and one Yigleaf, because I feel like Boria's more likely to die than Maya. But you never know. And two Magic Waters, just in case the Prayer Rings uh, crap out uh, early or something. And the Zenithian Sword will be important for the final phase, just to get rid of Bounce. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and fast forward through this. And there we go. Phase one. All right, first things first. We're going to sap and we're going to oomph Maya because this is probably the better time to be having this set up. Right in the beginning. All right, Maya's going to attack and we're going to have Boria just keep our health up because all that Pissarra can do is attack. And this does more damage than... Then, uh, what is it called? Then, uh, Caprizzle does, because Caprizzle does anywhere between 150 to 220, I think? So, you're better off just having Maya go ahead and attack. Okay, his defense is normal. She's gonna still attack, because she still has oom, and he's going to sap. Okay, Boria, Boria, out, Boria, Boria, I said Boria, <laughs> Boria outsped, that's good. We wait until Maya's uh, oomph goes down. Okay, there it is. I'm trying to fast forward, but this is part's kind of tricky. Anyway, her oomph is down, and Boria just took a big hit, so we're going to go ahead and give a Staff of Salvation and Sage Stone here. If we have to, we'll use a Yigdu, though. Uh, come on, get him up above 200 after the end of the phase, please. And... Oh, mm, good enough. All right, she's going to have to Kafrizzle now because he's going to be stuck in healing now. We did save a little bit of MP out of that. But yeah, that was like 170 compared to the 2 to 300-ish she was doing. But of course, that's with Sap and Oom Pup. But at least Boria can support her, phys her, ph her physical attacks anyway. I'm going to risk it and just go ahead and Kafrizzle. Boria may go down, but we do have the Yig Leaves to use. Yeah, we're okay. The Frizzle and Sage Stone. Okay. Next phase. Um, this is a case where I do want to actually heal up Boria a little bit more. Thank you. 
And now she can just go ahead. And... Nah, it's not worth. Uh, it's not worth going for the physical now, because we really can't outpace that his damage, especially if he decides to start critically hitting. So Caprizzle, Sage Stone. Also, I can't keep track of things as easy. Now we've got to switch people around because she's getting targeted. Thank you. It's not always going to work, but it does help. Luckily... Oh, thank you. That could have been bad. Luckily, though... Uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. The crit kind of threw me off. Okay. But anyway, yeah. The Sage Stone is working. But you luck Oh, luckily that they hit Borea instead because my one went down. Alright, uh, just keep going for it. There we go. Alright, now this part's not so bad. Bounce, and Zithian Shield. Okay, and now we could just kind of go ahead and start doing recovery. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and heal Boria. I almost kind of wish that we got access to one more Sage Stone in Chapter 6, but that's okay. It's not super necessary anyway. It was just, it's one of those would be nice moments. Anyway, rebounce and rebounce. Yeah, you go ahead and come up. That's the reason why we also don't use physical attacks on this round anyway. Anyway, we're going to have him could crackle and we're going to have her do the healing. This way, Boria is using up his MP instead. Okay, uh, HP wise, we're okay still anyway. Alright, that sucked. One more. Please wake up, Maya. I have to rebounce, which means she's probably going to be behind now. We do want to keep... We do want to keep at least... I didn't mean to bounce again. We do want to keep at least one person alive. Okay, we got lucky there. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and have them both bounce at the same time because it's a little easier to keep track of. Thank you. She's going to go ahead and heal Borea. This could go bad. Rebounce, because I don't trust you. Thank you for waking her up, though. All right, why don't you go ahead and just go crackle, and you need to bounce. Okay, now go crackle and Sage Stone, I mean, uh, of Salvation. This is just mostly me economizing, because Borea doesn't really need his MP that badly. That's okay. Go crackle one more time. We're going to have to bounce again. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Both of you at the same time, even though Maya's okay. It's always better to play it safe. And he just he just hurt himself. Killed himself there. All right. Now, this is the uh, rushdown phase. But this is where we can go ahead and do a little extra healing first. And don't bother using your physical attacks here because uh, he, dis he randomly disrupted uh, waves us all the time. So don't bother. So just... For now, it's time to go all out. That's fine. That was, that was kind of technically wasted MP, and we probably should have waited until he did that. But I'd, I'd rather keep going, because I think he's on a cycle instead of healing when necessary. So we could have waited until uh, he decided to cycle through his meditate phase. But anyway, just keep going. Unless Boria goes into critical, we're okay. Okay, damn it. You gotta heal. This is gonna lower lower us down a little bit on the speed, but that's okay. We might have even been able to finish him off that round. I wasn't keeping track. But go ahead. I also don't expect anyone to keep track of this, because this is going fast forward. Okay. Rushdown phase is over. Now we could do the uh, recovery phase. That's what I call this. Even though, technically, it's not really recovery. He still can outpace us if we're unlucky, but generally he won't. We're just going to go ahead and get our health up to a little bit happier uh, numbers here. By the way, uh, when you see me in Amon, I'm maxing out my level 99 because I just do not trust him. Okay, one more. That should do. Be okay. All right. She is going to... Mm, let's try it. Sap and oom. If he disruptive waves immediately, I'm just not doing it. Okay, you can keep going. Yeah, 300 damage. That's very good. 
I didn't even give out strength seeds yet, just so you guys know. She's going to keep attacking because it's still decent damage, even if she doesn't go first, but nope, we were good. But yeah, she's doing more damage than she could with her Caprizzle right now, so that's good. I'm going to have her keep attacking. Hmm. I'm going to risk it. Her oomph went down, okay. Well, wasn't worth it. Okay, just go ahead and time to recover. Go ahead and do... Yeah, I didn't even need to use my... I will not need to use my uh, prayer rings now. Because of the way we were able to economize our MP. So we're good. Because this is considered safe MP levels for her. Uh, heal him. Yeah, Boria's more likely going to get thrown around more. I probably should have gave him all the life seeds instead, because he's going does since he doesn't have the metal liquid metal shield. But that's okay. Alright, now she's just gonna go ahead and caprizzle and he's gonna, just gonna keep healing. Oh my god, stop that. Yeah, that's a little bit better because she has better defense. Not by much, but just a little. Yeah, spread that stompies those stompies out. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and risk it, Sage Stone. Yeah, I would rather if he just just uses his breath attack, because that actually hurts less. I mean, it still hurts, but definitely less. Alright, you've got to help heal. Because this is still technically the recovery phase, where we prepare for the final phase. But this is also, again, why I am fast-forwarding, because, you know, this kind of gets annoying. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Oh, come on. Okay, good. good. Nice dodge there, Boria. He doesn't have a really great dodge, but it's something. I did. I I've debated the the like cloak of Soap evasion, but generally, other than when I did that with uh, Alina, it's usually not worth it. You're better off having the breath protection anyway, and and the extra defense. I wish the Cloaks of Evasion had upgrades in the earlier games like this. At least later games they have stuff like that. I think like Dark Cloak... Dark? No, like Extra Cloaks of Evasion. I don't remember what they're named. I know like in Eleven there was something like... you. you at least you could upgrade them. And also you could have other things that help give you dodge. Go ahead and keep healing. Alright, now Caprizzle. That's okay, you can keep Caprizzling. Uh, gotta heal him again. Again, we're just trying to hold on to our Yigdus as long as we can. Come on, you can do this. Just stop stomping. Stop stomping, damn it! Ugh. He's being an asshole. There. The breath attack is, makes it, things a lot easier. Uh, that's still doable. There we go. Final phase. And we haven't had to use any Yig Leaves or do or anything like that. Anyway, for the first turn, we're going to have her heal so he can go ahead and Znit the Sword so she doesn't bounce it back against herself. Big Stomp. Okay, that's alright. Now she's just going to Caprizzle and we're going to do more of the same. Healing and Caprizzling. Um, I think I can get away with one more Sage Stone. Use, I mean, uh, one more Caprizzle Sage without healing. Uh, this is not a case to use a Yigdu. This is a case to double heal. Stop targeting him! You're an asshole! There! Stomp- no! Stomp on her! That sounds bad out of context. Stomping on anyone sounds bad out of context, but still. There you go. Okay. Now Caprizzle and Sage Stone. Okay, now I feel like I, I can justify a Yigdu. Go ahead. Yeah, sometimes, either, sometimes the bosses are just assholes, but you guys have seen that before, if you've watched any of my other uh, challenge runs anyway. I went with the attack that time. But okay. Don't bother with sapping and oomphing because it takes too much time to set up. Also, we need to switch people around now. Now now he's assigned to focus on, um, on Maya, and it's like, okay, now you can stop. Thank you. So far, we only have used one Yigdu. Now, obviously, you can also sometimes have really bad luck, but still. Uh-oh. Um, I think it's Yigdu worthy. 
5k. Uh, we ended up not. We would not have had to use it last turn, but we wouldn't have been able to predict that. Uh, I'd rather just Sage Stone. Go ahead. That's okay. Uh, I think we're okay enough to switch around again. Oh, okay. We're good. But that's it for Pissarro and without Kerplunk Bracers. Uh, obviously, I use some Chapter 6 tactics, but I do believe that, you know, as long as as long as you don't mind using the prayer ring some more, it would have uh, worked out just fine. Uh, anyway, it's just uh, like you have to make sure you pick your moments. Do it in the first recovery phase that I mentioned, not the second to last phase in total. Because that one is harder to he heal from. Anyway, that's it for Pissarro again. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I don't know which order I'm uploading these in. So <laughs> at, at very least, you'll see me... I'll see you in Amon. Yes, it's so cold. Or hot. <laughs>